What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The series in REI Reply is dedicated to showing you the key features that you need to implement in your business, making it super simple to start taking action today. Let's hop in. All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about opportunities. As you can see that we already added an opportunity from one of our previous videos when we were doing our automations. You'll see it here within this pipeline. The main thing you need to note, if you click here on opportunities, you're going to be taken to this page. You can edit your pipelines. You can see our team has quite a few. You can add as many as you want, but I will recommend simplicity is big, right? So try to keep it as simple as possible. Simple scales, fancy fails. You can add more pipelines by going to your pipeline. You can create a new one just like this, adding stages along the way, create cool, you know, pie graphs and funnels and all that stuff. But here within opportunities, you see where I added this lead here. Remember I said I, I like naming my opportunities as the address. So when I click in them, you'll see that I have Michael, I have his phone number, I have all the information. You'll see that it's within this opportunities pipeline. If Michael was in multiple pipelines, I'd see it here. I can add him into other ones. You know, if I have a different kind of campaign for someone like Michael or based on his situation or what I think his situation is, I can see all this here. Um, I can see the tags on this particular lead. I can add new ones, all that stuff on the contact card. Um, but again, the opportunity is the property address. I can send him text messages, emails, I can even add task appointments, notes, all that good stuff. And what you're going to find if you get a copy of our account, the main pipeline that you're going to be working out of is this one, right? You're going to call them. One thing, one thing, well, I guess one of two things are going to happen. Either going to answer or they don't. If they do answer, it's like, what happens, right? It's either going to say, no, I'm not interested. Then you delete them. They're going to say, ah, I need to be followed up on. Or like, I'm not ready to make a decision right now. Call me back next week. So we push them into, we call them our lead manager follow-up pipeline because we actually have employees internally that just manage these pipelines. Daily follow-ups, weekly follow-ups, monthly follow-ups, all that good stuff. I can see here. <clears throat> I can also see if they don't answer the phone, where they go. We mark our leads as priority one, priority two, and priority three. So again, if they do answer, they either say they're not interested, cool, we'll delete them. They either say, I need some more time, great, uh, no worries, I mean, I'll call you back tomorrow or next week, what do you prefer? Or they're ready to go and they get pushed to acquisition. That's the acquisition pipeline, right? If they don't answer, they get pushed here. Priority one, priority two, and priority three. This simply means Priority one is our best leads based on the notes, right? So this is uh, by the salesperson discretion based on the notes. Um, we will have to decide like, okay, is this a, a really, really, really good opportunity, right? They're ready to make a decision. Okay, great. That's a priority one. I need to get these people on the phone. Then priority two is just a step down below that, right? It's like, okay, well, based on the notes, maybe they have, maybe we got two of the four pillars and it seems kind of promising, but it's at least worth a phone call. Let's go. Let's give them, let's put it priority number two. And then priority number three is like, I don't know, based on the notes, this could be a lead. Maybe not, maybe so, but I still want to give them a call. The reality is that when it comes to leads, a lead is simply put information that can be leveraged to create a transaction, right? So the more information, the better, but the reality is sometimes I don't have that much information. There's a lot of gray. It's not based on the notes that it's not near as motivated as priority one, but it's definitely worth a phone call. So I've marked it priority three. And the reason why I do it this way is it helps my salespeople organize their day by lowest hanging fruit. Priority number one is the lowest hanging fruit. Then they move to priority two, then they move to priority three. So again, it's either they answer the phone or they don't. We manage the leads within the opportunities of REI Reply is the CRM function of this system. And it's super powerful. Again, you can make it whatever you want to make it. You can move leads across pipelines. You guys can see, like I had this one lead here. If this one came in my acquisition, they're ready to make a decision. We talked to them and we made an offer. I can literally just move it across. I can assign a dollar amount to this particular lead. Like, oh my gosh, if we get this deal under contract, I feel pretty confident we could probably assign it and make 20 grand. Well, cool. Look, now I can track my revenue within this system if I go back to my dashboard, I can go to my little funnel here, wherever that's at. There you go. See pipeline value? It's $20,000. I can edit the pipelines that I see. So here you go, acquisition pipeline. I have one in this pipeline, and they're right here. Offer made. 
Got my one right here in the bottom, right? New lead, offer made, 20 grand is my pipeline value, right? If I have more stuff sitting in the pipeline, I'm trying to get closed, it can give me my total dollar amount that's on this pipeline. And what I find, even for myself and my salespeople, I like to know that there's money out there to be made today. And when you use your opportunities pipeline like this, it's easy to see. So as you guys can see, like RER Ply, we said it many a times, just how powerful it is. But this is the CRM function of it. You can edit it, make it whatever you want, but you can run your entire scale business here. There's no reason. You don't need to go get any other fancy software because all the fancy software will try to do this decently well, and it will be way more expensive, I promise. So, guys, hope you got value from this video today talking about opportunities and pipelines. If you want a copy of our account, if you go to Matt, if you go to reireply.com forward slash Matt, you will get the, um, the new opportunities pipeline with the, the no answer and the answer. So um, a lot of good stuff here. Hope you guys found value from this video. Again, if you did like it, please like it. Share it with one person and comment below if you have any questions or what your favorite part was. I promise you I'll get back to you. I appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you later. Bye.